Hello everyone, how to solve this problem for the values of a if we have square root of a is equals to minus a and we solve this problem for all the values of a. So here we need to find all the roots of this equation and at the last we will be verify that which of the roots are solution and which of the roots are extraneous root. Further we solve this problem for two methods. I hope so you like both of these two methods but if you have any other method in your mind, so please don't hesitate to write this method into the comment section. And uh, here, the very first thing we are going to do is here, uh, first, uh, we just, uh, uh, in the first step, we move, we remove this k root sign. For this, we apply scaring on both of the sides. And when you can take scaring on both of the sides, it will be written as in this form. This 2 and this k root are cancelled out by each other and we will get here a is equals to this is minus a whole square and we know about that minus a square becomes plus a square. And now for the values of a uh, we uh, just move this a from left hand side to the right hand side and it will be written as uh, this is a square this is plus a when we move it into the right hand side it will become minus a and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now you see here both of these two terms involve a uh, so that we can easily take common a from here and when we take common a here we get a only minus here we get 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write a is equals to 0 and the second case is we write a minus 1 is equals to 0. This is the first root of the given equation and from here we move this minus 1 to the right hand side and it will become a is equals to 1. This is the second root of the given equation. So here in this method we just obtain these are the two roots of the given equation but now here in the next step we need to verify that is both of these two roots are solution of this equation or both of these two roots are extraneous root. So here for verification first we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is square root of a is equals to minus a and in this side we will be verify a is equals to 0 and in this side we will be verify a is equals to 1. So here first we focus on a is equals to 0. It means that when we put a equals to 0 on both of the sides of this equation then it will be written as square root of 0 is equals to minus times of 0. We know that square root of 0 equals to 0. So this means that both of the sides are equal so we conclude about that a equals to 0 is satisfied over this given question statement. And now we uh, verify the second value of a so that we substitute a equals to 1 on both of the sides and it will become square root of 1 is equals to minus 1. And further here we have this is square root of 1 becomes here 1 and this is our minus 1. And further uh, in the next step uh, you see that 1 is not equals to minus 1 or generally we just say that it is not possible case. It is not possible that a positive value is equals to negative value. It means that uh, the value of a is not satisfied our given question statement. Okay, so if this is not satisfied, it means that a is equals to 1 be the extraneous root of the given equation. Okay, this is the extraneous root because we know about that the roots which does not satisfy our given question statement is called the extraneous root. So here uh, a equals to 1 be the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement. And now we conclude about the solution set of this question is that the solution set of this problem is a is equals to 0 because a equals to 0 is satisfied our given question statement. So this is the final conclusion about first method and now here uh, we again solve this problem for second method. So in second method we need to copy down given question statement here and the given question statement is square root of a is equals to minus a. This is the our given question statement and here uh, uh, 
uh, in the second method we just do use and other techniques in which we can easily get the values of a so here you know about that if you have a number x so we write this x into the uh, form of product of two uh, radicals numbers okay so we write this x as square root of x multiplied by square root of x so according to this rule uh, we just write this a as into the form of product of two radicals and it will become here square root of a is equals to square root of a is multiplied by square root of a and further in the next step we move uh, the terms from right hand side to the left hand side and it will be written as square root of a is multiplied by square root of a and this is plus square root of a is equals to zero and now you see here both of these two terms involve square root of a so it means that uh, square root of a be the common term so here we take common square root of a and we get the remaining values are from here we get square root of a plus 1 and this whole equation is equals to 0 and now we divide this equation into the two cases the first case is we write square root of a is equals to 0 and the second case is we write square root of a plus 1 is equals to 0 and further in the next step uh, here we have uh, uh, for from the value of a here we just take squaring on both of the sides and it will become this two and square root are gone and we get here a is equals to zero this is the first root of the given equation and from here we move this plus one to the right hand side and it will become the square root of a is equals to minus one and uh, for the values of a we need to take squaring on both of the sides and when we take squaring it will be written as this two and square root are gone and we get here a is equals to this is minus one square and minus one square becomes here plus one so this is the second root of the given equation which we get here from second method uh, and now here in the first method we already verify that this value of a is equals to one is not satisfied our given question statement uh, so we call a is equals to 1 be the extraneous root of the given equation okay so this is the extraneous root because it does not satisfy our given question statement and the solution set of this question is a is equals to 0 so this is the solution set of this problem and this is the final answer thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos